circuit shown includes a cell of constant internal resistance. So the internal resistor is the one over here inside the box that represents the battery. External resistor R. Student record emitter voltmeter reading. Then she go and connect a second identical external resistor in parallel with the first external resistor. What happened to the emitter and voltmeter reading? So if you feel a bit scared that this circuit looks a bit complicated, maybe you can simplify it first. So if, if, if I were to simplify, this will be like that. You have R. The meter, meter, uh, if you see your eye very confused, you just put one. Uh, in order to draw the meter. So that's just one. R. External circuit. Potential difference, you just measure across this law with the voltmeter. Current. Current flowing through the battery. So when you add another resistor in parallel, you're just saying add like that. We feel it's a bit confusing. We redraw again. So we redraw here. Battery with internal resistance. We have our loop resistor here. But you add parallel. So got one more here. Two already. And how does emitter and voltmeter change? So this rule of thumb generally is a good method you can use to think about changes in circuits. First thing you want to think of is when you add this another resistor, how does the total resistance change? So step one, when you add in parallel, uh, these two in parallel, your total resistance of the whole circuit actually decrease. Add in parallel, decrease. Add in series, increase. Okay, so because this is parallel, you decrease. If you don't believe me, you try calculate what the total resistance here R. You calculate, add together these two in in parallel. What's the R? You actually realize it's half R. Total resistance here is actually R. But once you have two in parallel, R total is now become half of it. So decrease your law. Okay, resistance decrease. How does that affect current? That's number two. So current uh, flowing through the battery, this current. We don't think about the branch down there. Lah. So if resistance decrease, the current very happy. Current is like, yes, less resistance. I can flow more. So current in the circuit or current through battery, more importantly, current through battery increases. more current flowing. So that is the first thing we can look at already. Okay, current increase, we're going to look at the answers down there. Current increase means this two is correct, this one is wrong. So this AB is out. Next, we need to look at voltmeter reading. This is very tempting. Uh. We just say voltmeter, same. Uh. Battery EMF always same one. Uh. But wait. Voltmeter reading is actually your terminal potential difference. The battery, got terminal, supply to external circuit. So this is also external circuit and these two voltage is the same. Ah. Potential difference is the same. So then you need to ask the question, did the terminal potential difference change or not? Because the terminal potential difference is what will be given to all the resistors. Here and here, all the same V. V and V, 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 all the same V, all in parallel. So then you have to think very carefully. Terminal potential difference. Oh, terminal potential difference depends on how much you lost. Because if I have lost volts, my EMF will be lost a bit. EMF is the inside there one. So number three, maybe I will say, oh, lost volt. Huh? When current increase, more lost volts. So more lost volts when current increase. Why? Because lost vote, oh yeah, I cannot see, right turn behind me already. Ah, there we go. Because lost vote is current times the internal resistance. If this current is bigger, you lose more energy. Eh? Not good. So that, then we go to the last conclusion. Okay, so how does all this affect terminal potential difference? Because that's what we want to go to in the end. This terminal potential difference is supplied to circuit, uh, to supply to resistor. So if more lost vote, means smaller or lower 
terminal potential difference. Terminal PD and that is going to be what is supplied to the external circuit which is resistors. So lower because if you want to find terminal potential difference, you take the EMF minus how much you already lost. That is how you will get the terminal potential difference. Okay, so lower, you look for a decrease, decrease, decrease. Best choice we can choose is going to be C law that suits this thing. So this whole flow of thought uh, of what happened when you change something in the circuit is actually quite a popular thing that uh, Cambridge like to ask, especially in structure question. They'll ask you to state and explain the changes that happen when you do this, when you add a bulb, when you take away a resistor, when uh, something breaks. So if you can flow through this flow of thought from total resistance to current to loss volt and then to terminal PD, this is a, and you internalize and you really understand it, that'll be very variable for you. Okay, so that's this circuit question.